Hey, Silvern here with a quick video on the patch 1.06 for Elden Ring. One of the updates that has been done is to Vare's questline. You no longer have to participate in online invasions in order to move it forward. Come along with me, and I'll show you the alternative route you can take to get to everyone's favorite albinuric farming grounds. The beginning of Vare's story is the exact same. He stands outside at the first step, casually insults you, and gives you your task to get a great rune and meet the two fingers. After you beat Godric and go to the round table, you can find him in his usual spot at the Rose Church. You agree with him that the two fingers don't seem right, and he will give you the five festering fingers. From here, you would normally have to use three of them to invade other players before he would let you continue onward. Now, you don't have to do that. There is a new NPC invader that you have to summon in order to progress without going online. Magnus the Beast Claw, who is located within the Writheblood Ruins within the Altus Plateau. If this is your first playthrough, you likely won't be able to survive running straight there, since the route that you have to take in order not to use the Grand Lift of Ductus is through the Ruin Strown Precipice. If you would like to use the lift, you need both pieces of the Ductus Medallion. The first one can be found in the tallest tower of Fort Height in Mistwood. The second one is in Dragonbarrow, in the eastern tower of Fort Ferrith. Once you have both pieces, make your way to the Bellum Highway in the northern section of Liurni of the Lakes. Taking the Grand Lift can be hard for newer players since you have to charge through an area with soldiers, trebuchets, and trolls. Pick your poison. Since this is my third journey, I am running straight there by way of the Ruin Strone Precipice. Once you get through it, take the lift up and you're in the plateau. Hit the side of grace straight along the path, then continue on your way. Hold your breath and run past Ancient Dragon Lanciax. It doesn't pursue. In the opening, cut right. There's a side of grace there if you would like. And head down the hill. Rush through the camp and once you come out the other side, you'll be at the Altus Highway Junction. If you use the lift, you can pick up from here. Go left and follow the path all the way up to the forest spanning Great Bridge. Take the teleporter to the other end. Now you're in the area of the Windmill Village. Follow the path along to the right and wait to see the path that cuts hard right and goes underneath the bridge. Don't go all the way to the forest below. You should hit a side of grace underneath that bridge. Once you press on, you'll shortly come across the caravan. Go past them and the Writheblood ruins are just on the left. The summoning sign for Magnus is in the crumbled area on the far left. Magnus's fight itself isn't terribly difficult. He fights with the Great Star's Great Hammer and uses beast incantations. He does seem to be very quick in his castings, doing some back-to-back -back if you put some distance between you. But once you defeat him, you'll be rewarded with a Rune Arc, a Furl Calling Finger Remedy, the Great Star's Weapon, and a Somber Smithing Stone 6. Now you simply return to Vare, and he will proceed with his quest, giving you the Lord of Blood's favor to dip in Maiden Blood. It's all very straightforward, it just takes a little bit of traveling to get there. Check out this video here if you need to see how the rest of his questline is done. If this quick rundown was helpful for you, please give the video a like, subscribe and follow along for other Elden Ring videos, and thank you for sticking around to the end, because as we all know, my lambkin, time is runes.